Piellet, are you ready to take this journey with me? Yes. Welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. Come along. Hey, science is cool. If you don't like it now, you're gonna learn to appreciate it someday. Trust me. Science is space stuff, it's explosions, and it's innovation. It's behind everything awesome. You may never truly understand the things that you're talking about, but it's fascinating nonetheless. And if you allow yourself to retain a kindergartner's understanding on a topic or two, you'll come off as more intelligent than 98% of the human population. Truth? True. True. Science is cool. And science just dropped two really cool advances in the worlds of cloaking and self-healing synthetic skin. First up, the cloaking. For years, scientists and governments have been attempting to design a flawless cloaking device, ideally in the realm of optical light, but they'd be okay with it in any wavelength. And in the past decade, there have been multiple successes, but they all fell short of perfection, reflecting light back, creating incomplete invisibility. But now, a couple of dudes from Duke University are proclaiming that they've perfectly cloaked an object for the first time. Tar Heel scientists are like, son of a bitch! Duke scientists? Son of a bitch! Go Tar Heels! The object isn't the biggest object. It's a tiny centimeter tall cylinder that measures 7.5 centimeters in diameter, and the cloak itself isn't a visible light cloak, but it is a cloak. It's a microwave cloak composed of a diamond shape that perfectly renders the object invisible. Sure, it's not quite predator level stuff yet, but this microwave cloak could be utilized in radar and telecommunications. It looks like this. It's cloaked. The cloak isn't a blanket cloak and only is visible in one direction. It's like a wall in front of an object. And if you just look around the side, you totally see the object. But again, it's perfect from one direction, and that is a first. Science is cool! Moving on to self-healing synthetic skin. On the other side of the U.S., Stanford scientists created synthetic skin that retains the ability to heal itself at room temperature. The plastic skin is sensitive to touch and is electrically conductive, making it a big deal on two levels. This stuff can be cut in half, and if placed side by side, they will fuse back together in about 30 minutes. This is due to the fact that it's held together with hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonds are weaker than covalent and ionic bonds, so they break apart easily, but they also reform easily. Just imagine the T-1000 getting blown to bits and then the mercury coming back together and reforming. It's kind of like that, at least on a visual level. And now the conductivity. The scientists mixed in nanoparticles of nickel, which end up acting like tiny little nodes throughout the skin, allowing the electrical current to jump about. And this works in conjunction with the regeneration. Immediately after getting sliced and push back together, the stuff regains 75% of its strength and conductivity back. And when that half an hour passes, boom! Good as new. And this skin will be applicable to numerous projects, including prosthetics, electrical wiring, computer components, and most excitingly for the common man, self-healing touchscreen Oh displays. crap, drop my phone! Oh, oh, I have oh, 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 and Satan is in your phone. Boom. Science is cool. Science is cool. It's awesome. Science is great. So, which breakthrough do you think is the better one? Cloaks or skin? Let us know in the comments section down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit this annotation for more video news, and go to sourcefed.com for more on this story and the rest of the scientific breakthroughs of 2012 that we have covered here at SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I am Elliot Morgan. It's a, uh, oh, it's I'm your soul. Oh, I will eat your soul. This was a bad purchase. Okay. No, no, it's cool. I'm totally just scientific glass. Really weird voice. Yeah, it is scary. I know. I'm sorry.